Welcome to the challenge presented by Parker University. We invited nine of the best quarterbacks in the Dallas-Fort Worth area to compete in an accuracy competition this past summer. Each quarterback had four targets to throw to, a 10-yard target worth one point, a 25-yard target worth three points, a 30-yard target worth five points, and a 35-yard target worth nine points. Each quarterback had to successfully hit the 10-yard target before moving on to the next target and so on. After each target was hit once, the quarterback could throw to any target of his choosing. With a minute on the clock and 20 footballs to throw, time would absolutely play a factor as well. Hey, I'm Jacob Vaughn. I'm a senior at Liberty Christian. I'm ready to represent them in the annual QB challenge. Liberty Christian's Jacob Vaughn is a big, strong quarterback with a rifle of a right arm, and he zips one in that one-point target quickly. Two for two to start as Vaughn hits the 25-yarder. The 30-yarder is not to Jacob's liking as he misses a couple there. If he has problems handling the pressure, he only needs to turn to his head coach, Jason Witten, who dealt with pressure of being a go-to target for the Dallas Cowboys. But Vaughn finally connects on the five-pointer, and Jacob has nine points, and that's a long-distance connection with over 30 seconds still to go. There's a make and 27 points. With so much time, Vaughn is taking his time, trying to make sure he accumulates as many points as he can. Vaughn goes back to the 25-yarder, and after two misses, he finally knocks one down. That's 30 points. Jacob's in a groove now, so he continues at that 25-yarder and bangs home two more. There's another. And another just before the buzzer. Jacob Vaughn finishes with 42 points, and that's good enough for second place so far on the scoreboard. The top four advance, so Roderick Hartsfield and Harrison Rosar look to be in trouble. Next up, Cole Welliver from Flower Mound Marcus. The Challenge is presented by Parker University. Check out our bachelor's degree in strength and human performance today.